January 2020, Dwayne The Rock Johnson said that he had finally started getting ready for Black Adam. For years, people have talked about making a movie about the popular DC Comics villain turned anti-hero, but now the project is finally moving forward. What should we expect though from this new comic book movie? What we know about Black Adam is listed below. Will he do well or do badly? First, the movie's release date and the actors. Black Adam was supposed to come out in 2021, but Warner Brothers made that decision before anyone knew how the COVID-19 pandemic would affect the making of the movie. Since production had to be moved from fall 2020 to spring 2021, the studio had to take the blockbuster off their list of upcoming DC movies until July 2022. But Warner Brothers pushed that release date back a few months, and now Black Adam will come out in theaters on October 21st, 2022. Like any other movie based on a comic book, the main character will be one whose name is in the title. However, he's not alone in the adventure. In Black Adam, Dwayne Johnson is the main character, but in the story, he will go up against the Justice Society for the first time on the big screen. There are a lot of well-known stars and up-and-coming actors in the Black Adam cast, along with Johnson. They will all benefit from being in one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Noah Centineo, who became famous for his role in To All the Boys I Loved Before, will play Adam Rothstein, aka Adam Smasher. In Green Lantern, Beware My Power, Aldous Hodge did the voice of Jon Stewart slash Green Lantern. He will now play Carter Hall, Hawkman. Quintessa Swindell has been in Voyagers and an episode of Euphoria in 2019. In Black Adam, she will play Maxine Hunkel, also known as Cyclone. Pierce Brosnan, who used to play James Bond, will play Kent Nelson, aka Dr. Fate, a DC Comics character who will be making his first appearance in a movie. Sarah Shahi, The Rookie, Marwan Kanzari, The Old Guard, James Kasadi Moyer, The Path, Bodhi Sabongi, The Main Event, Mo Ammer, Rami, and Uli Latukafu, who played Dwayne Johnson on the NBC comedy series Young Rock, are also in the cast of Black Adam. Is Black Adam a bad guy or an anti-hero? Also, how will the movie be ranked? Over the years, Black Adam has gone from being one of DC Comics' strongest supervillains to one of its strongest anti-heroes. When he hits the big screen on October 21st, he will be in the second group, not the first. Oh, don't worry, Dwayne Johnson's muscle-bound character will change the order of things in the DC Universe, at least in terms of powerful characters, but he won't be all that bad in his intentions and actions. And since Johnson brought Black Adam to life, the path of the anti-hero seems to be the best one. Even though Black Adam won't be a villain this time, producer Hiram Garcia told Cinema Blend in a July 2018 interview that doesn't mean he'll be a goody two-shoes. Even though Warner Brothers has been putting out R-rated DC Comics movies like Joker, Birds of Prey, and The Suicide Squad in the past few years, its newest superhero movie won't be like those. Black Adam's MPAA rating has been a topic of discussion from the start, but since it's expected that Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam will eventually star in a crossover film with Zachary Levi's Shazam, the chances of a free Dwayne Johnson anti-hero getting an R rating have been pretty low from the start. Hiram Garcia told Collider in July 2021 that they weren't forced to make Black Adam a PG-13 movie, and that he and the other producers didn't think an R rating was necessary, saying, Garcia went on to compare the film's approach to its rating to that of Dark Knight, which he called one of the hardest PG-13s you've ever seen. Last but not least, we get some information about who is directing the movie and what plans there are for more Black Adam movies. Black Adam will be made by Spanish director Jean Collet Serra. You might not know his name, but you've probably seen some of his other movies. Collet Serra doesn't stick to one type of movie. On his list of credits are the remake of House of Wax, the horror movie Orphan, the Liam Neeson action movie Nonstop, and The Shallows, also known as The Deep End. Blake Lively vs. Shark, his most recent movie Jungle Cruise, was based on a Disney ride. It starred Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, and it's clear that they got along great on set, because they're reuniting right away for the DC Extended Universe blockbuster. Plans are in place to keep the action going after Black Adam comes out, unless it's a 
complete and utter failure at the box office, which isn't likely, given all the buzz about the movie. Harim Garcia told The Collider in December 2021 that he and the other producers of Black Adam have never thought of it as a one-off movie, and that they have always had a plan for where they want the franchise to go. Dwayne Johnson has hinted that Black Adam and Shazam will eventually meet, so it's safe to say that when they do, it will be an epic battle. In related news, here's why DC fans want Henry Cavill's Superman to be in Black Adam, and what The Rock said about the idea. Even if critics don't like the movies he's in, Henry Cavill is the Superman of the comics, and Cavill has made it clear that he likes the character. Superman's parts in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Justice League are well liked, but he hasn't been in another solo movie since Man of Steel. Given how well his first movie set up Superman's part of the DCU, it would be worth going back to it in Man of Steel 2. Whether it takes place between the first film and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, or continues Superman's story after Justice League, possibly using Snyder's plans for the character in a whole or in part. Henry Cavill's Superman is one of the DCU's most important characters, with plenty more stories to tell, and the approval of hardcore fans. So bringing him back and giving him a more prominent role in the DCU is prudent. Dwayne Johnson has said that he wants Black Adam and Superman to fight in the DCU, and he has also given hints that they will meet in the Black Adam movie. Johnson has responded to fans on Twitter twice about the idea of Henry Cavill making a cameo in Black Adam. Both times, he used encouraging language that seemed to tease the Man of Steel making a short appearance. The movie is mostly about how Black Adam became an anti-hero, but having Henry Cavill Superman show up in a cameo, maybe in a scene after the credits, would set up their fight for the next time they both show up. Henry Cavill hasn't said for sure that he'll play Superman again in Black Adam, but DC's new direction and Dwayne Johnson's comments make it seem likely. Most likely, Cavill Superman won't fight Johnson's Teth Adam in Black Adam just yet, but it's easy to imagine a cameo by Cavill. Not only will Superman return to the forefront of the DCU, but Cavill's Superman and Johnson's Black Adam will finally fight, even if it happens after Johnson's solo movie. Finally, Dwayne Johnson just put another nail in the Snyderverse coffin. The Rock's Black Adam is coming to theaters, and Dwayne Johnson's passion project is getting to move the DCU even further away from the Snyderverse. Even though no DCU movie after Justice League messed with what had been set up in the Snyderverse, they have also not stuck to any major storyline from Snyder's original plan for five movies. At the moment, the DCU seems to be focusing on movies that can stand on their own, like Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and Black Adam that don't need to depend on the Justice League movies. The only movie that seems to be different is The Flash, which will bring Michael Keaton's Batman into the DCU through a multiverse story, and also bring back Ben Affleck's Batman. Even though it's a standalone movie, Black Adam seems to be very important for the future of the DCU. During DC's panel at San Diego Comic-Con, The Rock said that Black Adam will bring in a new era for DC films. Dwayne Johnson didn't say much about how Black Adam will affect the DCU canon in the future, but it's clear that the movie is trying to make its own mythology that doesn't rely on the Snyderverse. For example, in Black Adam, the Justice Society seems to be a well-known group of superheroes, which is interesting since neither Batman vs Superman nor Justice League ever mentioned them. DC's chief creative officer, Jim Lee, said that there are no plans for a Justice League sequel by Zack Snyder, so it makes sense that Black Adam and future DCU movies should be seen as the beginning of a new phase in the franchise. Are you excited to see Dwayne Johnson play Black Adam in the first blockbuster movie based on the comic book character, and to see him go up against the Justice Society? Make sure to like and follow the channel to get updated when something new comes up.